What's up guys? So Artifact did a massive update November 21st yesterday. This is huge to the economy. So now you can convert 20 cards, 20 dupes that you have extras of into one event ticket. That may not seem like a lot. That seems like, well, I have to have 20, uh, uh, you know, of a card to get one ticket. That, that's crazy. But the thing is, you can actually use any kind of card that you have. Like, it doesn't have to be one. So you can do six Stonehall Cloaks, two Pikes, 10 Play of the Vigils. So you can just convert all the extra cards that you have. And so what they show you here is your excess card quantity when you go over to the Recycle Cards tab. Still in the beta here, the buy and sell cards are grayed out. You cannot use them, but you can convert these over to tickets now with this Recycle Cards feature. And it's gonna be a feature that's going live in the future which that essentially means that the minimum price for a card now is five cents because you can take 20 of them and convert them into an event ticket which is essentially 99 cents or one dollar so making each card five cents if there's any cards that are on the auction house that you can buy for under five cents you should buy them they now have essentially an NPC uh, you know buyback price five cents so that's that's good for for players and people that are willing to spend some money in the game the cards you have the excess cards are going to be worth more that's really bad for casual people that wanted to play the game on super cheap budgets because the the old uh thought was that the min price for cards were going to be three cents on the marketplace but now this essentially makes it five cents as the the lowest ceiling because if anyone sees a three cent or four cent card you're gonna go buy it and then use it convert it into an event ticket um, that's again raising the price up two cents it doesn't sound like a lot but to those penny pinchers that could mean a significant chunk of money uh, and that also means too because on this marketplace the steam marketplace there's gonna be some some taxes and it's rumored to have a 15 percent tax on the game when you buy or yeah when you sell anything uh, which means sellers essentially should sell cards no cheaper than six cents and there may actually even be a like a sneakier tax in there as well where the valve takes two cents from every transaction which means that you should sell it no lower than seven cents because otherwise you're still only getting the five cents back and you should just convert it to a ticket at that point but we'll see here how uh, how people are uh, so essentially that could make the minimum sell price of a card seven cents and now that's a huge change from a three cent minimum sell price beforehand to now a seven cent minimum sell price like it's doubling the cost of the game for those penny pinchers that want to play like commons only or popper only uh so it, it's it's not a huge deal but it's going to take it from maybe a ten dollar purchase on top of your twenty dollar buy-in to now a twenty five dollar purchase so they're gonna have to spend an you know additional fifteen bucks on the game uh, to have say all the commons for example uh this also means that the uncommons probably will be slightly more expensive as well they they're not going to be as, as flooded as the commons uh but just the ability to recycle them and now allows people to go infinite in the gauntlet modes uh a lot easier than before Gauntlet modes are definitely challenging the opponents that you're playing in the beta right now, like, are kicking my ass, no question about it. Like, I've only done two perfect runs uh, in the Keeper draft. Granted, we are rare drafting, uh, and then one perfect run in the Phantom draft where we've done, like, three of those. So we're, like, one in three there, which that's a decent ratio, getting five wins uh, before two losses. But in our Keeper draft, we're, like, two in 13. We're, like, really shit in the Keeper draft. And uh, most of the other games that we have lost too have all been like, you know, two O or X O, um, and then like one win, two losses, and we haven't even got rewards. We haven't even got to the three wins in most of those games. Uh, so you definitely, you, it's a huge learning curve. And if you jump in right away, um, you're gonna get beaten a ton, <laughs> a ton at this game, guys. Unless you're really, really skilled. But there's so many good card players out there from different games that have picked this game up and people that have been in the beta uh, for you know a year now they have a huge skill advantage on you and hopefully the the influx of new new blood the new players when the game launches uh, will even this out and it'll be a lot easier because you're fighting against other you know newer players but as of now it's it's definitely a struggle it's definitely easier with this recycle cards feature to go infinite in the gauntlets but it's not something that, you know, everybody's going to be doing. 
So there are other changes that are going to be coming to the game as well. This is just the first of the like the big beta changes. We uh, are eagerly looking forward to seeing what else is coming. Also, something to note too that on these cards, you'll see that there's a how many you have. There's an NA right here. This is actually going to tell you the market price. Uh, like I don't know if it's going to be the average or if it's going to be the lowest, but it's going to tell you a market price on these cards. So before that you go ahead and convert these things, you're going to know if it's a wise investment or should you just list them on the marketplace and sell them yourself. All right, guys, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Any massive economy updates, I will let you know as soon as possible on this stuff. Happy Thanksgiving, guys.